<laughs> Whoa. Oh, look at this, I'm on top of the train. Hi, I'm Lavi. And I'm Ollie. And this is our hero, Bumblebee. Together, we are attempting a Guinness World Record to become the youngest pair to circumnavigate the globe by, by motorcycle. motorcycle. Join us for season three here in South America. We just went through the market and bought a lot of nice vegetables and some goat cheese. But this time it's soft goat cheese, which is quite nice. And then we have some uh, queso empanadas and a massive avocado. We have some bread. All these bread cost just 60 pence, which is absolutely crazy. And then our favorite meal, the noodle packs. I've already eaten an empanada. <laughs> The whole shopping was under 10 pounds and yeah, we can eat from this stuff probably for three days. Well done, Bolivia. Well done. I'm happy to be here. Good morning world. Welcome back to the channel. It's day number 309 on our circumnavigation around the globe by motorcycle. We're here in the beautiful town of Tupiza in Bolivia. We're on the rooftop of our hotel at the moment and we've got an amazing view of the mountains around. Check it out. <laughs> Mountains everywhere. And it's really interesting because this place is actually called the Butch Cassidy Hostel because apparently Tupiza may have been the town where Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid were killed in a shootout with the Bolivian authorities. And it's really fitting for our trip because we spent time in Cholila where Butch Cassidy owned a cabin. Butch Cassidy, this way. Cool. And then he took pretty much the same route we took from Argentina all the way up into Chile and into Bolivia. So it's actually a really funny coincidence that we ended up here. <laughs> so we've got an amazing day planned for today, a day we've been waiting for for ages. So let me show you guys where we're heading today. So we are here at the very, very top of our Argentina map. And unfortunately today I can't show you where we're going because we're heading straight off the map and further into Bolivia. Actually, I forgot that we don't have a Bolivia map yet, so I can't show you the route, but today we are heading to the Uyuni Salt Flats. Yeah, we are super excited because we were waiting for this day for a really long time, but we have to check the salt flats out because they might be very wet. Yeah, when we arrived here in Tupiza, it was super rainy and it was rainy for quite a few days, but we've had a little bit of sunshine and today is looking absolutely amazing. So we're gonna ride over to there now and we're gonna see how wet the salt flats are and whether we can ride on them. So it's already eight o'clock and we still have to pack up everything. So better hit the road, let's go. We're on. Good morning, Bumblebee. Let's make our way out of this little hotel courtyard where Bumblebee has been kept safe for the past five days. Let's hit the road on a beautiful sunny day in Bolivia. <laughs> oh my God, it looks so nice. Yeah, and it's significantly less muddy than it was when we arrived, hey? It looks completely different. Oh my God, it's so different. Look at these back roads. Before, this was just mud and puddles. Oh, no, there still are some puddles <laughs> and some mud. <laughs> it's not dried up that quickly. But I'm definitely, definitely interested to see how the salt flats are. Oh man, me too. I mean, we were talking about the salt flats since months. And we were like, oh, we really want to camp on the salt flats. And we really want to experience it like in the full glory. I don't know if that's going to be possible, to be honest, because it might be one giant puddle. The largest puddle in the world. I love all these tuk-tuks in town as well. That's so cool. Yeah, Tupiza is a really nice town. It has a really nice town center and we went to the market it's uh, beautiful yeah and just the location of the place with all these cliffs and canyons around it's funny that butch cassidy died in a shootout here because i get real wild west vibes from this area definitely just gonna have a little stop here and see if we can grab ourselves a little snack let me see what they've got i think they might be chicken though i think so vegetariano Oh, okay. Gracias. No, okay, we'll see if we see another place before we leave town. So we're just heading out of town and uh, it took us straight to this unpaved road, which apparently is the only way to Uyuni. 
which I did not realize that it would be an unpaved road to be honest yeah or at least like such a bad unpaved road because uh, there are tours going from our hotel like nearly every day and if I imagine that all the tours having to take this road here <laughs> yeah I don't know no it must join up with the paved road at it some must, point hey? hey it must must because this is no look this isn't a road I think we're supposed to be up there <laughs> do you think so yeah look up there yeah Does but how, how do we get there I have no idea let me just hmm, let me just go over here okay careful though yeah okay yeah there's a barrier there look yeah okay so we are wrong yeah <laughs> I think we're wrong <laughs> no there's absolutely no way to get onto that road here hey no look there's a barrier all the way uh, i think we were supposed to cross the bridge back there you see ah uh, okay so which way should i go back then i don't know let me see okay i'll start riding back <laughs> i thought that was a little bit of a crazy bad road to be the main road out of town <laughs> yes we're getting lost already oh man and it's only our first day in bolivia we're already getting lost Oh, well, we're discovering the back roads of Tupiza then, I guess. <laughs> Looks like it. <laughs> oh my lord. I don't even remember where we came from. I have no idea. I really can't even see another way. <laughs> Everyone is looking at us like, what are you doing here? Yeah, that's what I'm wondering. Where we, what are we doing here? Oh my god. Aha! It looks like this is the way looks like they've built a brand new junction actually yes paved Woohoo! what a crazy landscape here yeah this area is like filled with crazy crazy rock formations of yeah. all different colors as well wow what a special area yeah i told you wild west wild west to pisa <laughs> yeah <laughs> incredible ah there we go a little That's bit the end of the paved section okay whoa look at this bit here wow it's insane incredible yeah you can't go very fast here wow <laughs> <laughs> wow what a beautiful road whoa okay mm. coming okay. up to some mud already hey oh no yeah i said bolivia rainy season Okay, okay. Just gonna have to go through this puddle, I reckon. Oh, <laughs> yes! <laughs> Made it! <laughs> yeah, I cannot believe this is the main road. Wow. That's crazy, really. Wow, we are climbing high, high up into the mountains now. Oh my God, I love Bolivia already. And whilst we were riding this beautiful mountain road, I thought I'd give you guys some facts about our new country, country number 10 on our journey around the world, Bolivia. Whoop, whoop. So the official name for this country is the Plurinational State of Bolivia. And it has a population of 12 million people. The capital city is La Paz, but it's not actually the largest city in Bolivia. It's actually the third largest city uh, with a population of 800,000 people. The largest city is actually Santa Cruz, which has a population of two and a half million. Santa Cruz actually lies in the tropical lowlands of the country, which is the Amazon basin, basically. And that actually occupies a massive area of this country. So the first major civilization here in Bolivia was the Tiwanaku Empire and the Tiwanaku Empire started around 600 AD but the Tiwanaku capital actually dates back to 1500 BC when it was just a small agricultural village. After the Tiwanaku Empire was the Inca Empire 
and that lasted all the way until Spanish colonization in the 1500s and Spanish colonization continued until Bolivia actually called for independence in 1809 but they didn't actually get their independence until 1847 after the Spanish-American War of Independence <laughs> wow what an awesome landscape to give some Bolivia info look at this <laughs> epic <laughs> We've reached the Altiplano! We are very, very, very high up now. And we have the beautiful company of llamas. <laughs> hey guys! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, really crazy views from up here, definitely. And then the snowy peak. I don't know what mountain that is, but it's really high. Yeah, wow. You just see some huge, huge, huge mountains up there in the distance. Absolutely crazy. Look, 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 um, that llama's crossing. Yeah, typical Altiplano roadblock here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, beautiful. Oh, yes. Llamas are a wonder of the world, hey? Absolutely. Look at this town in the middle of the mountains. That is very, very, very cool. Yeah, it's really blending in. Yeah. Yeah, the colour of the houses, because they're all made from the local rocks and stuff. It really blends in. Very cool. Ah, yeah, it's called Atocha. <laughs> Uyuni. Oh, Uyuni this way. Uh, I think... I think we have to turn here. I think it's probably the same. We will go over the bridge. Oh, yeah, we just came down, but we actually could have gone across the bridge yes. there. Oh, no. <laughs> Yeah, it's not easy. Oh, there's oh. a train track. Wow. Cool. We got some Bolivian Rio here. How beautiful. Oh, they're running. Very cool. Nice. We haven't seen Rio in ages. Yeah. All right. We are coming into Uyuni, the town, not the salt flats. The town next to the salt flats. Exactly. And here we have to do our very first fuel up in Bolivia. So we can find out how cheap or expensive the fuel is going to be. Yeah. <laughs> is that a petrol station up there? Where? Oh, yeah. Over there. Yeah, perfect. Wow. But you have a big paddle. <laughs> oh, my God. That's a puddle, hey? <laughs> yes, it that is. A, that is a puddle. Oh, my God. This doesn't bode well for the salt flats. Okay. Let's see. Let's see. Is that the right type of fuel? Um, I see. don't know. If this is like gasolina. Gasolina, yeah, yeah see. Perfect. Price like per litre, it says 3.74. What is that? 3.74. Let me just have a look. I think it's not expensive. Oh, it might be cheap. It might be cheap. Wow. It's like 44 cents. Hola, buenas. El litro de gasolina para las placas internacionales con factura es a 9.44 y sin factura es a 6 bolivianos el litro. So she's saying that it's actually 6 bolivianos per liter yeah. if you don't want a receipt. Yeah. What, what, what's this price then? Well, I guess that's the local. Okay, so the <laughs> locals get a half price yeah. fuel and we don't. Okay. Is this in uh, old Bolivia like this? Do you know? Are you oh. coming? Yeah. yeah. So make sure we don't go less than half a tank without filling up. A lot of Sometimes places won't give you any gasoline. They won't give us. They'll see your form plates and they'll see Do you know the octane of the fuel here? No. No? They don't, they, they don't say, hey. It goes down faster, but it works okay. <laughs> Muchas gracias. Muchas gracias. Okay. All right. So actually that ended up costing us £9.70 for probably about a half tank. Was it about, it was 13 and a half litres, hey? Yeah, it's really crazy that they have the rule here. Yep, had no idea. But there you go. I knew we'd learn something on our first petrol station visit, hey? Yeah. So what does that make it per litre, six Bolivianos? It's about uh, 80 cents. Okay, so we're about 80 cents. Oh my Lord, got a little Dachshund. <gasps> <gasps> a god dog dungeon. Oh my god. Wow, this place is really surprising me. I mean, the Salar de Uni is a really, really famous place, but this does not look like a touristic town. It's a crazy, crazy place. It looks so incredibly run down. So, the first place that we'll be heading to just before we head to the salt flats is uh, actually called the Train Graveyard, and it's about a mile up here. Whoa. 
Big paddle. <laughs> oh, I can see the train graveyard up ahead. Wow, what is this place? It's absolutely crazy. There's just rubbish everywhere. Bienvenidos a Bolivia, Cemeterio de Trains. The train cemetery. Look at this. Huh. Wow, look at this place. Oh my god. We're just going in individually just so that one of us can look after our stuff. So we'll see it one at a time. Oh, look at this. This is absolutely crazy. It's like something from Mad Max. That's absolutely insane. Wow, look at them. Just train car after train car after train car. Just totally left here. Wow. And what's actually super interesting about this place is that this is not like a tourist attraction. These trains were literally just left here because Uyuni used to actually be a major transport hub for all the mines and minerals coming from the mountains and heading towards the Pacific coast. But then in the 1940s, the mining industry completely collapsed. And basically that just meant that all of that industry was gone and the trains were just left here and abandoned. Kind of like the town, it's like the whole place has just been sort of left for dead after the mining industry collapsed. Okay, I think I can't leave here without at least having a look inside one of these. Whoa, Whoa look at this. Look inside here. Wow. Oh, nearly fell down the hole. Ah, oh, so cool. Whoa. Oh, look at this, I'm on top of the train. Wow, that is so cool. <laughs> Whoa. Okay, I'm gonna get off, I'm scared. I mean, these have just been left rusting here for a long, long, long time. So probably not the wisest thing to climb all over them. <laughs> cool. Tag in, your turn. <laughs> I'm in the train. <laughs> so cool. Look at this cute little shop. Hola. Uh, Tiene uh, empanada? No. No. Uh, comida or no? Ah, I see. Ah, gracias. Just having a lunch break at the train cemetery and we've put up our parasol. Thanks, Chris. So we have something really yummy today. We have some bread and cheese, but this time it's actually topped up with some avocado. I have some cucumbers. We have one side here with egg, actually egg and avocado. So pretty cool stuff. That is a seriously embellished bread and cheese. Okay, guys, we're branching out, <laughs> trying to be healthier. Look at that, that is gourmet. Mm. That is gourmet. Whew. I forgot to say, I put some onion on top as well. Whew. Never stops. <laughs> yes, look at this. Whoa. Oh my God. We just went into this pool of water and it's like a huge, huge ditch. 